In this problem, we want to use a graph to determine the domain, the range, x-intercepts, and y-intercept. Now, our domain is the x-values where the graph exists. So as I look at this, uh, the leftmost point on our graph is right here. If I went straight up to my x-axis, that'd be negative 3. So it goes from negative 3. And our rightmost part of our graph, where it exists, is right here. If I went straight down, that'd be 4. So it goes from negative 3 to 4. Now there's a solid dot over here, which means a bracket on negative 3. And there's an open dot over here, which means parentheses on 4. Now B, our range. This is the y values where our graph exists. So we're looking at our lowest point and our highest point. Well, the lowest point is right here. If I went to the right, that'd be negative 1 on our y-axis. Our highest point of our graph is right here. And if I went over to the y-axis, that'd be a positive 1. So it goes from negative 1 to 1. Now, this one here has a, a solid dot, so that means bracket. This one up here is a open, which means a parentheses. Now, our x-intercept, where it touches or crosses the x-axis, looks like 0 0.4, maybe? And if you want to write that in point form, that'd be fine. That'd be 0 0.4 comma 0. Our y-intercept, where it touches or crosses the y-axis, uh, negative 0 0.2. Or if you want to write in point form, it'd be 0, negative 0.2. And those would be your answers.